Hello today, and today we're going to have a game of Lotus Esprit Turbo Challenge on the Atari ST. Right, this was a game request a long while ago by a 25 clans man, but I couldn't get round to it because I could not get this game to work. In fact, I couldn't get any of the Lotus games to work on the old emulation I was using. But I've got a new emulator now called Steam. And it's a lot better than the previous emulator, which was H Atari or something like that. This is a much, much better emulator. Right, so this is a game that I had back in the day on the Commodore Amiga. It was a really good game. Right, so we're going to change. Well, I don't want that one player. Yeah, I'll bother changing my own computerised gears. If that's normal, that'll be up to accelerate. Put it on alternate controls. You push fire to accelerate. Because you'll be using, because you've got it on computerised gears, to so use the fire button. Hold down the fire button to accelerate. Right, one. A game for one or two players simultaneously. So we just go for seven races, see how far we can get. Push fire to start. You can uh, select an audio track if you want to. I say an audio track, an AY track, a YM track. And I think you've got a choice of. You've got a choice of four. Or you go to zero if you want sound effects. We'll go with sound effects. So, we're at Italy. The course record is by from Nigel Mainson. So they got around <laughs> you know that it's supposed to be. Here we go. So I'm ex well I've had a I've I played this in my stream actually. I'm surprised it's not on par with the Amiga version. I mean, it's a good version. Oh fuck! Don't get me wrong; it's a, it is a good playable version. But the Amiga version looks look more smoother, look more faster. There's more detail. I mean, the sound effects wasn't that great on the Amiga. It sounded like a fucking vacuum cleaner. Uh, I mean, it's certainly, I mean the ST version is uh, certainly fast, certainly playable. Oh! I mean graphically, like with the Lotus cars, and the uh, background, it looks almost the same, but I think there was a little bit more, there was more detail in the... Amiga version, right? There was um, lines in the road. I think there was more. I don't know. I don't know if there was more side objects. But there was one criticism I had the same with the Amiga version. If you're playing one player, why couldn't they make it full screen? There's still a letterbox mode. And I think they rectified, they did rectify that in um, Lotus 2 and Lotus 3. Fuck's sake. Um, so you go over various stages in this, it starts off pretty, oh, I say pretty easy, but you know, it's, you've got to get into it. Right, so we completed um, the race, that's in Italy, but you do, in later stages, you have to watch out for your fuel. Because you do have to top up your fuel. If you run out of fuel, that's it. So we've got the fastest time there. So now we're at Mexico. Alien Prosphate. Yeah, I think we all know who that's supposed to be. A certain Formula 1, ex-Formula 1 driver, I should say. Four a four-time world champion. 
Alright, we go again. Bloody hell. Another criticism, I'm sure the ST and Amiga could have done this. All the other cars are white. And that's something else they managed to um, rectify in the Lotus 2 and the Lotus 3 games. He's changed the colours of the cars. The other op the opponents. Oh shit. But it's still a good game to play. You know, I like my racing games, it's my favourite genre of game. I mean my favourite game on the Amiga, and I've also reviewed it on the ST, was Formula 1 Grand Prix, and that was the reason why I bought an Amiga, because of that game. I saw that for the first time on a friend's Amiga, and that was it. I want an Amiga, and I did get one. Oh, shit. just a pity that um, there's a game called Jaguar XJ220 which also come out in the Amiga but it didn't come out in the ST for some reason that's a shame because that was uh, in my opinion that uh, I thought that was a better game than the Lotus games yes I know I'm probably gonna get people are gonna go no way but you know, that's my opinion. Everyone's entitled to have an opinion, by the way. You've probably got a different opinion. And I'm not going to argue with that, because I couldn't really give a fuck. Right, I should be keeping an arm off you. And where's my position? I'm in fifth position. I'm not doing very... Well, I'm doing alright, but... Crash you... Oh, fucking hell. Oh, you bastard! Uh, I'm going to get third place. Right, okay. So we come third that time. So I'm in the lead with 32 points. I still have it. So, M. Carburetta. Could that be... Yeah, I think I know that could be. That could be Alboreto. Formula, Formula 1 driver. Right, so... Oh, that's the pit lane. I want to smack into the sign. And you will be needing those pit lanes. Because you will have to stop for fuel. But then I think the computer also stops for fuel. What is that Jaguar XJ220 I'm thinking of? Oh, ah, shit! Oh, fucking Christmas tree. No, it ain't a Christmas tree, is it? Oh, they can be a fucking mind. Don't drive in the middle of the road. Oh, you fucking bastard. 
Oh, now I'm down to 13. This ain't looking good, is it? Now. Oh shit! I should use my brake. Use your brake. I think you'll pull back on. Yeah, it's pulling back on your stick. Shouldn't have done that. I just wanted to test it anyway. Oh, bollocks. Get the fuck out of the way. I don't know. I think you've got to come in a certain percentage to, um, or grids. Oh, what am I talking about? You've got to come in a certain place to qualify for the next race, I think. I can't remember now. Oh, oh shit, I'm sure I need to fill up. I need to go get some fuel next lap. I need to, because that ain't going to last. Yeah, I need to pull into the pit lane. Oh, you fucking bastard. In eighth place, right. So where's the pit lane? Oh, I need to slow down a bit when I get to it. Right, it's the pit. Pit, pit, where's the pit? There's the pit. Stop, slow down. Right, so you see your fuel going up. When you've got enough, you think, go. So I'm still in eighth place. Probably take on too much fuel there. I don't know. Shit! What the fuck? Yep, there's also 8-bit versions of this, um, I have reviewed them, um, the Commodore 64, Spectrum and Amstrad versions, as well as the Amiga versions, Amiga version, I should say, I've reviewed all three of the Lotus games on the Amiga, I intend to re review all three games of the Lotus games on the ST and I'll let's race over, fucking 13th place, so, yeah, I want them. I thought it was. I don't know what the top two, the top positions you have to come in to qualify. Game over. But it's a good, enjoyable version. Um, I would not have been disappointed if I had this on the ST back in the day. Um, it's it's a good, playable game, and I do like my racing games. Yeah pretty good. Anyway, I'm going to end this now. Thank you so much for watching. Till next time, and goodbye.